Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you how to measure square footage. First of all, square footage implies a measurement in feet, but this applies in fact to a measurement in any, any unit you care to measure. Could be inches, could be feet, could be yards, could be miles, could be kilometres, could be centimetres. Doesn't matter what unit you're working in. But measuring square footage is measuring area. And measuring area can be done either by calculating if you've got a regular area, such as a square or rectangle, length times width, or a circle using pi r squared. So that's a formula can tell you the area of those. Or you can combine those, for example, in a sports field, has two semicircular ends and a rectangular center. So you've got the rectangle, length times width, and you've got the area of the circle, or half pi r squared for each end, if it's a semicircle at each end. The real problem comes when you get an irregular surface, an irregular area. For example, people often try and work out the area of their foot on the ground, and that is an irregular area. It, you can't calculate, there is no formula for this. And then what we do is we put it onto a grid. And on the grid, we measure the numbers of squares. This is one square. So here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 squares. All right? So we've got 16 full squares, but we've got a lot of half squares, or not quite squares. But, for example, we can estimate these, and we can say, well, this square, with that one and that one, make up a square. Add another one. And this one and that one are half each. Add another one. And this one and that one make another square. And this one and this one make another square. Actually, I should have marked that one. So we actually we've got 17 squares, to be correct, initially. And then we've got these bits here. That one goes with that. That one and this one, say, another square. And this one and this one, another square. And one more there and one more there. So two more squares. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Square whatever. So if these were centimetre squares, it'd be square centimetres. If they were inch squares, it would be square inches. This is a very accurate way, actually, of calculating uh, the area of an irregular figure. So, if you want to measure square footage, remember there are several ways of doing it. One way is to calculate if it's regular. The second is if it's co a combination of regular figures to calculate that. But if that all fails, use a grid system and count up the number of squares and estimate for part squares and that will give you a simple way to find the area of an irregular figure.